Good morning and welcome to today's New Year Council vote for the Committee on Governmental Operations. At this time, please silence all electronic devices. Chair, we are ready to begin. Good morning, I'm City Council Member Sandra Ong, Chair of the Committee on Governmental Operations. I would like to welcome my colleagues who have joined us here today, Council Member Shulman, Hanif, and Brewer. At today's hearing, the committee will be voting on two distinct bills that have sponsored. The first is a bill that modifies ranked choice ballots, and the second is the bill to codify the Department of Citywide Administrative Service Public Service Corps Internship Program. In 2019, New York City voters overwhelmingly approved a referendum adopting ranked choice voting for mayor, controller, public advocate, borough president, and all 51 city council races. The 2021 primary election was the first time that New York City used RCV outside of a handful of a much smaller special elections. And by almost all measures, it was extremely popular with the voters and almost 90% of them ranked multiple candidates in at least one race. While the first RCV election went fairly smoothly, we did get some feedback from voters and advocates about the design on the ballot. My bill, Intro 696, takes this feedback into account and improves the design and ease of the use of ranked choice voting ballots by simplifying the instructions for ranked choice voting elections and improves the layout of ranked choice ballots by ensuring that, cont that contests on the same ballot page are separated from one another using bold black lines, ensure that non-English text can be easily compared to the corresponding English text, and that each language in a ballot is clearly separated and visually distinct. And lastly, that to the extent practical, instructions regarding ranked choice voting appear in black fonts on a white background. The second bill that I'll be hearing today is to codify the city's public service corps program. New York City is in the midst of a staffing crisis. A recent report by city controller found a vacancy rate over 22% of department buildings, 32% of department of small business, and over 22% of city planning. With so many positions to fill, we have both a need and opportunity to show the possibilities for public service to students who many not have otherwise considered a career in local government. The bill will codify and expand the public service corps program and ensure that it's available to students from a wide range of backgrounds. New York City has one of the most diverse workforce in the world and New York City government should reflect that. This bill takes a step in that this direction by giving students opportunity for a paid internship with one of the various agencies. The goal of this bill is to create a pipeline of students from diverse backgrounds that are ready and able to fill civil service positions upon completion of their degree. And with that, I'd like to thank C.J. Murray and Erica Cohen for the central staff for their work in putting this hearing, as well as my own chief of staff, Alexander Hart, and my communications director, Shane Miller, for their assistance. I will now turn it over to Clark to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on governmental operations. Items are coupled. Chair Ung. Aye. Brewer. I vote aye, and I was an early supporter of ranked choice voting, despite many people complaining to me, and I appreciate the fact that this is being improved in terms of how the ballot is written. Thank you very much. Hanif. Aye, and like my colleague, Councilmember Brewer, I just want to really applaud the work we're doing to um, make it easier for folks to participate in ranked choice voting that'll absolutely strengthen our democracy. So I on both, thank you. Shulman. I and all and wanna echo my two colleagues, uh, Brewer and Hanif, and um, this is really strengthening ranked choice voting for those that might have been confused previously. Now it's gonna be, there's gonna be clarity here and there's gonna be easier for them to do this. Thank you. Thank you, by a vote of four, no problem, thank you, Councilman. <laughs> by a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. Yes, um, thank you. The roll will be held open at request of the chair. <laughs> 